G'day. Today's video is to replace a charger port on an Angel Care baby monitor with the model number AC517. So to begin with, we want to use the lever, lever not pry. There we go. Take the back cover off and the battery out. From here I had to do a bit of experimenting on getting into it, but I discovered the best method was having it on a heat pad. So I've got on a blue heat pad at 75 degrees heating up the front of it. And this liquid here is some isopropyl alcohol with a flat metal pry tool. So with this combination, I should be able to get under the, essentially the overlay skin on top, which this is coming off extremely easy for me. Granted, experience does help. As you can see, it's slowly lifting as I'm moving the blade through with the isopropyl on it after it or had already been heated up for quite some time or well, sometime being around about five minutes there we go bingo so I'm going to stick this out of the way for now and from here we'll just need a small but not super small so right now I've got too small of a screwdriver. A Phillips head screwdriver is what you'll need. So I'm going to change this screwdriver over in just one second. I'll change it over to this one. As you can see, the tip of it's quite a bit bigger. It's still smaller than most screwdrivers you'd probably have around your household. But I'll continue removing the screws out of this. go to removed I'd say behind the LCD and touch panel will be some more screws so you should be able to gently just lift this up and out of the way and then you'll have a bit of a flex connector there to unclip and you should be able to remove the display like so after that you just got to go through and remove the remaining screws which I'll zoom in on us here as, as we can see there's one on the left or two in the left one at the top left so around about six screws to come out now the reason why I'm opening this as I said earlier was due to a damaged charger port as we can see here it is right there now I'll try and get that into focus there we go Looking at the pins on it, it didn't actually strip up any of the PCB or the traces, which is perfect because that means I should be able to reattach this exact one. And I'll just simply continue removing these screws and then I'll have a look on the other side of the PCB from there. Bingo, and we're in. So zooming in, we do have some weird colours on the main chip, and we can see a jump has been made at some point. I'm not sure what for, but if it's done from the factory, I'll just leave it as it is. As we can see here, the pins themselves and the traces look to be pretty good. But yeah, no idea what that's for. But what I'm going to do is just go over with some fresh flux and some solder and just touch up those pins and then I'll get that prepped to hopefully heat gun the existing jack back in.
And the next part I want to do will be to clear the pinholes, or at least clear the locator pins for the types of for the micro USB jack. So that would help locate it into a better position. So I'm just going to add some extra solder onto it and then use the solder sucker to remove that. So far this is going reasonably well. I'll zoom back in. And I'm just going to give that area just quite a bit of a heat soak. Just to keep that solder relatively liquefied. So hopefully make it easier to reinstall this jack. What I'm doing here is just adding some extra solder onto the underside of it, just for those locator, uh, locator holes, just to hopefully strengthen that jack to reduce any potential damage down the line. Just go over with some tweezers to make sure I can't feel any pin movement, and all seems to be pretty good from there. So in the rest of the video, I'm just simply going to be reassembling the device. So this will give you an idea on what screws need to go where, and how it's layered. But from here on out, I'll catch you in the next video, and have a good one. Bye.